Hi, my name is Carl Norman, and this is my story. So, at the beginning of the semester, I got an internship with Dr. Cookie No Good, a pretty famous scientist. But what I didn't know was that Dr. C was actually an evil scientist. At the convention of ridiculous, absurd, zany, evil sciences, Dr. C revealed his doomsday machine. As he was about to push the button, I kind of panicked and tripped over the power cord, turning off the machine. Unfortunately, Dr. C got away. I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, it was great. I saved the world from exploding. But you don't just wake up expecting to accidentally save human civilization. I had to distance myself from this incident. Because Dr. C would fry me to a crisp if he got his hands on me. So I did what anyone else would do. And I gave myself a superhero alter ego. Awkward man. He was the one who saved the world. Not me. So life goes on, I guess. Our last current event of the day is... Awkward man. He's a great representation of what resonates with millennials. Can any of you critical thinkers answer as to why? Sally. I think that Awkward Man resonated so quickly within the past few days for two reasons. He was accidental, while also striking a chord with many on the social stratosphere. He got on people's radars quickly, but he also achieved what so many of us want to do every day. Be in the right place at the right time and do everything on the first try. Very insightful, Sally. Thank you. Anyone else? Carl? Um, he's kind of random uh and he like is meme worthy like like it memes like like well he was there uh right there in the short amount of time but the right time like you know i like memes how like memes are like short uh like they're memorable like not like short like like short like little like like short like fast like fast like you know it was memorable so so yeah yeah Okay, good analysis. Thank you, Carl. Okay, everyone, that'll do it for today. I'll see you next time. Hey, Sally, wait. Oh, hey, Carl, uh, what's up? You dropped your wallet. I didn't even realize, thank you. I'll see you next class, then. Wait, Sally, 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 um, would you like to get me coffee? Uh, would you like to, um, no, sorry, would you like to coffee me? Shit, talking mushrooms. Oh, God. Do you want to get coffee sometime? Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. Friday before class work? Sure. All right, then. It's a date. See you, Carl. See ya. Awkward man. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, will you knock it off? Dude, you just scored coffee with the class prodigy. I've been saying this coffee date up for years. She finally knows my name. She knows it's with a K and not a C. Uh, she actually looked at me like she looked at me, dude. She looked at me. <laughs> god. But she doesn't even know the awkward man. Dude, do you hear yourself? <laughs> Forget college. You could be a, a crime-fighting, heartthrob, sexy hero and take make tons of moolah crap. Man, 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 man. I don't need to be a freaking superhero right now. You know, I just need to get through this internship. I need to make sure I get out of college, get a great job, you know, have a great wife, make babies, you know, have a good time. So, like, you know, I just need to make sure I can just get through this internship. But, yeah, I don't need to be a superhero right now. I don't need to do that. Hello? So here's the little lying, ignorant fool. <laughs> Dr. C, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Yeah, you're, you're making no sense. I know you tripped over the power cord, Carl. <laughs> no, I didn't. What are you talking about? Well, Carl, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but I had to force your pretty little girlfriend into my lair. What? By that I mean, I kidnapped her. I'm gonna set this timer for one hour, and then she'll be the first guinea pig for my new death ray. Dr. C, you're not gonna get away with this. Carl, where are you going? 
to stop Dr. Kukuno Good from killing Sally with the death ray, I'm going to lock him up once and for all. Wow, that's, uh... Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I, can't, I can't help it. Okay. Okay, uh, do you, do you need any help, or...? No, no, no. I have to do this alone, by myself. Sally? Oh, hey, Greg. Is that really you? Uh, yeah, it's me. What do you're, you mean? You're okay! I'm... Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> do you mind telling me exactly what's going on? Oh no. Carl! What about oh my God. Carl? Uh, Dr. Kukunugut said you've been kidnapped and he went to go rescue you. Why? Because he's awkward, man. What? I'm sorry, I should not have said no, that. No, no, it's okay. It's just a lot to take in. Oh no. He's, he's walking, walking into, into a, a trap. trap! We have to do something! <sighs> How are we gonna find him? Wait, 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 wait. If he has his phone on him, I, I can track him using the Find My Phone app. Wait, how do you have the Find My Phone app for Carl's phone? Oh, you know, it's kind of normal at this point. I can't find him, he can't find his phone, whatever. Look, he's right here. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I shouldn't have skipped gym class. who finally showed up. Listen, Dr. C, you're not gonna get away with this. Well, that was very valiant of you. Oh, please. But, but what is this? Dr. C, please stop this. You were always such an enthusiastic boy, but that eagerness can get you into trouble. I get into trouble, it was you, with all this stupid science experiment shtick. Do you mind? I'm monologuing here. If you didn't care about your future career, you never would have gotten this internship. Oh, I will actually need that internship to graduate, so... Do you think I care about that? If you weren't so interested in being a hero, you never would have gotten caught up in that cable. I didn't get caught up in the cable, the cable cut on me. If you didn't care so much about the gal, she'd be able to live! Oh! <laughs> Sally! Carl! Sally! Carl! Hi, yeah, um, 911? Yeah, uh, I think I found, uh, Dr. Crooked No Good, that supervillain from the Crazies convention. Yeah, um, he was hiding in his garage. Okay. All right, thanks. Sally! Look out! No! Carl? Carl? Carl, please don't die. Carl, no. What happened? You saved me. Really? No. Scientist Dr. Crook and No Good is currently behind bars, and an investigation is underway. Reporting live for Commonplace News in Sally Street. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks, Steve. Welcome, darling. Have a good day. You too. All right, you got your nice clothes. Yes. You got your coffee. Yes. Uh, did you brush your teeth? Uh, yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right, good. You got this awkward, man. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Well, I had to make it up to you somehow. pretty crazy that you went through all of that just to save me, even though I wasn't really kidnapped. I mean, we didn't even have our first date yet. I know, but 
of course, I needed to go help you. I needed to go save you. Yeah, I mean, and I went after you, too. So. Oh, true. <laughs> and Greg was there. True. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Greg was there. Uh, but, yeah. Hey, Carl. Crazy, yeah. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Uh, um, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, just kiss already! <laughs>